Good morning, Needlands. Welcome to Tuesday, the 21st of April. It is Dance Music Week, and I bet that your parents can do a good dance move to that song I was playing by Technotronic. I'm sure they recognise it all. It's a song, a very, very old dance song, and was popular when I was in year six. That is how old it is. But I hope you enjoyed it and we'll listen to a little bit more at the end of assembly. Well, welcome to day 30 of school closure. My goodness, the days seem to be going past really quickly. And it was good to be back with you all yesterday. I hope you all enjoyed um, being back with your teachers and doing your schoolwork. Did it go well? Good stuff. So today is Tuesday and who can remember back to yesterday and what yesterday's assembly was all about? Can you remember? That's right, it was all about Captain Tom Moore. Do you remember the chap I told you whose birthday it was and he was a hundred years old and he had raised millions, millions of pounds for the NHS? Well, after yesterday, I did a little bit more thinking about Captain Tom Moore. I started thinking more about our elderly relatives and how the name grandparent can be interpreted in lots of different ways. What I mean by that is, what do you call your granny or your grandpa? There are so many different words, aren't there? Granny, grandma, grandmother dear, nan, nanny, and also for grandpa, granddad, grandfather, grandpa, and I've even heard of some families using the word bumpy for their grandpa. So there are all sorts of names, there are all sorts of love names that we might use for our more elderly relatives. And some of you will have the chance to be in touch with your grandparents. They might just live down the road from you in Ham, or they might actually even live with you in your house. For some of you though, some of your grandparents may have passed away when maybe when you were little, when you were a baby, or even more recently. And for those of you whose grandparents aren't with us anymore, you'll still keep hold of them, keep hold of them really tightly, but now you're keeping hold of them in your heads and in your hearts as well. And you'll be treasuring them very closely and I know that. Some of you will have your grandparents that live in a different country, maybe in Romania or Poland or Australia. And some of you might not actually know your grandparents, but that's okay. But there might be somebody that lives on your road who's elderly and lives, lives by themselves that maybe you and your parents have spoken to before, maybe in passing saying hello to them. So as we know, our elderly relatives can have a really positive impact on our lives. And I started thinking about whether your grandparents might be a little bit like Grandpa Joe and Charlie in the Chocolate Factory. Do you remember him? Stays in bed all day. So is your grandparents a bit like Grandpa Joe? Or are they a little bit like uh, Grandpa in my pocket? Someone who does lots of fun adventures with you. Either way, today's assembly is going to be a little bit of a dedication to all our elderly relatives, all our elderly friends. And today I want to tell you about another hero, a female hero this time, and that's Dame Esther Ransom. Now Dame Esther Ransom, you might have heard her name before because she was the founder, she was the person who created Childline. And we've spoken a lot about Childline in school, haven't we? It's a helpline for children if children have a worry or feeling scared. It's a helpline that they can call where they get to speak to grown-ups who are a bit like teachers who can try and listen and help them with their worries. Can you remember the telephone number for Childline? That's right, well done, 0800 1111. Now, not only did Dame Esther Ransom think of Childline, but she also realised that as well as children, very elderly people might sometimes need a little bit of extra help. And she created a helpline for elderly people as well, and it's called Silverline. Why do you think she called it Silverline? I love your ideas. Well, maybe she called it silver line because silver is quite precious, isn't it? I'm wearing a silver necklace today and that's really precious to me. Or it might be because when you get a little bit older, what happens to your hair? It goes a little bit silvery grey, doesn't it? So maybe for both of those reasons, for the silvery hair and the preciousness. 
But Silverline is also a helpline, so there's a special telephone number that the elderly people can call if they're feeling lonely, if they're feeling worried, if they would just like to have a telephone chat with somebody, or if they'd like to find out about different groups in their community that they can join. And somebody at the other end of the phone, who's a trained person, a safe person, is able to talk to them and help them, and hopefully make them feel less lonely. So Dame Esther Ranson is another one of our heroes, because she is a lady that came up with a great idea to offer kindness and friendship to other people, be that young children, or be that the very elderly. And I think over the past month, when life has been a little bit different, and probably a little bit more challenging than it normally is, charities such as Silverline are really, really important for people in our community. So great work, Esther Ransom, and if you were in our school, you would definitely be getting a badge. So Meadlands, it is the start of another day, so it's time that you got going with your class teachers whilst I get going with my head teacher's work. So have a really, really great Tuesday today. I will be back here tomorrow morning for Wednesday's assembly. And yesterday I said to you that perhaps if you remembered that when you have your tea time with your families, you could talk to each other about who your heroes are. Well, tonight, why don't you ask your parents about their grandparents, which will be your great grandparents, because I bet there are some amazing stories to be told. So let's see if you can do that at tea time tonight. So see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Why your feet are stomping and the gym